Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Olivet Schwenfelder United Church of Christ. We are an open and affirming community of faith where no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. We have a few announcements to share. I will be away and unavailable through Wednesday of this week. However, if you have a pastoral emergency, I ask that you contact both the church office and Reverend Amelia Castillo. She is a friend and colleague right up the road at Skippa Trinity United Church of Christ. Uh, we will make sure that she covers you, uh, whatever the pastoral emergency may be. Today is the last day in July, so any items for Mission Kids are due today. However, we are now beginning our August vision, which is the Norristown Hospitality Center. They are in particular need right now of dryer sheets, uh, plastic eating utensils, uh, small bags of chips or pretzels and snacks, as well as disposable face masks. So if you have any of these items, please bring them to the mission table or you can drop them off in our donation bin outside of our parking lot doors. Seeing as there is no other announcement to share, let's be in the spirit of worship together. I hated all my toil in which I had toiled under the sun, seeing that I must leave it to those who come after me. Who knows whether they will be wise or foolish? Yet they will be masters of all for which I toiled, and use my wisdom under the sun. What do mortals get from all the toil and strain with which they toil under the sun? For all their days are full of pain, and their work is a vexation. Even at night, their minds do not rest. All we toil for is vanity. Only true devotion to God is wisdom. Only kind acts are prudence. Let us therefore prepare our hearts and minds for the worship of God. And at this time, I invite you to rise in spirit or in body as we sing our first hymn.
this time of prayer and worship. Bless us this day as we seek to be your disciples. Amen. It is our nature to put our trust in the things of this world, whether it's in other people or leaders or whether it's in our own wealth and power. God calls us to instead trust in Christ. Join me now as together we confess. Loving God, we confess that we put our hope in worldly things, our jobs, our professions, and other people. We believe that if we just work hard enough or amass enough wealth, our hearts will be satisfied. Yet our successes leave us empty and our progress is not fulfilled. Help us instead set our minds on things above rather than things on earth. Make us worthy of your eternal treasure in heaven. Amen. Siblings in Christ, the good news is that there is nothing, not heights nor depths, rulers, things present nor things to come that can keep us from the love of God. In the name of Christ Jesus, our sins are forgiven.
in our gospel today from, comes from Luke chapter 12, beginning with verse 32. Christ says, Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your position, possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out, an unfailing treasure in heaven, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from a wedding banquet, so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves to whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and he will serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You must also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There are a lot of juicy tidbits in both of those readings this morning. But for today, we're going to focus on the part about treasure, or rather, what it is that we treasure. I want you to think about what are those things, concrete possessions, abstract ideals, that you personally hold valuable. Just yesterday, I had the pleasure of speaking with Felix Rizal, the gentleman who has been incarcerated for the last 26 years, and who, a week ago, had his sentence commuted. Now, Felix, for over a decade, has taught restorative justice in the prison system, trying to help fellow incarcerated men make amends and truly understand the weight of their harms. Whenever I volunteered in those restorative justice circles, we would always ask a question. What are the three most important things that each person values in their life? are three things you absolutely cannot live without. We would always have them list the thing they valued most, number one, the thing they valued second, number two, and so on. You only get three things. What would your answer be, each and every one of you here? What are those three most important things in your life? I want you to take a moment and actually come up with your three in order right now. Is family on your list? Your health? Your freedom? Is loyalty one of your most important things? Truth? enough money to live comfortably? Is it friendship, love, your children? What are the three most important things that you value in your life? Did you put your faith on that list? Or God? Or a personal relationship with Christ? What is it we truly treasure? I have a friend who is in the process of online dating. God bless her. <laughs> and she basically asked the same question 
of people that she was considering going on a date with. She asked these three things you couldn't live without. She answered love, laughter, and freedom. But the responses she got back were things like my cell phone, my internet connection, or my car. She was really dismayed, in fact, by how many people responded in that way. But you have to admit, it is a good way to clear out that list of possible dates. <laughs> the things that we treasure say a lot about us. In the words of Luke, where your treasure is, there your heart will be. It's 12, verse 34. And as flawed human beings, we occasionally get our priorities wrong. Occasionally, maybe our cell phone begins to inch off our lips. 